Hey everyone, Holden here to talk about the overall meta that was put on display at the Madden 19 Classic Tournament. First and foremost, the metagame is generally a strategical approach to the game that is seen to be the most effective or optimal tactic to win the game. For this reason, there's almost always a strategy that rises above the rest and sees the most play throughout a tournament. That certainly held true in this case for strategies on both sides of the ball, along with team selection. Let's start off with the offensive side of the ball, where there was a common theme from the jump with playbook selection. Of the final four competitors, three of them opted for the Patriots playbook on offense, while Lil Man opted to go with the West Coast playbook instead. Expanding out to the final eight, five competitors opted for the Patriots playbook, while the other three went with their own unique selections of New Orleans, West Coast, and Tampa Bay. Spotting a clear trend here, we can see that the New England playbook was far and wide the most commonly run playbook at the tournament. This is because it contains what are widely considered two of the best offensive formations in the game in Gun Bunch and Gun Trips Tight End. Most competitors who ran this playbook did use a mixture of these two formations in their offensive of schemes, but many of them generally favored one over the other. You have guys like Skimbo and Blocky who favored Gun Bunch and were in it for over 80% of their offensive snaps, while others such as Canes and CJ stuck to trips tight end more often. Last but not least, we have Matster who stayed in a formation that is not seen often for over 83% of his snaps in Gun Y off trips pats, but had the luxury of going to Bunch or trips tight end when needed throughout his run to the final four. So why exactly are the previously mentioned formations so good? It generally boils down to a handful of plays. Let's dive into the Gun Bunch formation. The majority of guys who ran New England Gun Bunch had schemes that revolved around three or four specific plays. These plays were Pat's Sail, Pat's Curl Flat, Verticals, and Halfback Base. Across all of the top eight competitors who ran this offense, Pat's Sail was the most called play from this formation at a 34.2% selection rate, winning by a wide margin over the second place Pat's Curl Flat at 22.4%, followed closely by Verticals and then the Halfback Base. Let's take a look at what made some of these plays so effective. In this first example, we have Blocky against IB Strafing in the round of 16. Blocky faces a big 4th and 8 scenario from midfield and goes with Pat's Sail. Making a few adjustments, he decides to block his halfback, drag his tight end, streak the middle bunch receiver, and slant the outside bunch receiver before motioning him out and snapping the ball. Strafing comes with 5-man pressure and attempts to man up the receiver in motion. Now, knowing that he has a flat zone for the drag and a defender assigned to the slant route, he realizes his responsibility is to cover the backside post. However, due to the pressure getting picked up and the free release from the pre-snap motion, the slant route ends up beating his man and gets behind the flat defender for a huge conversion. This perfectly showcases how much pressure the backside post route from this play puts on defenses in the sense that they are almost forced to use or defend it every time. This in turn opens up the rest of the field and makes the offense's life much easier knowing where your opponent will be on defense. The second example shows off another prolific play from this formation in Pat's curl flat. The key to this play is the deep corner route by the middle bunch receiver. It is very difficult for zones to get out and guard when combined with a clear out route from the outside receiver. Man defense could be an option, but would get roasted by the other plays from this formation, making it a risk most players did not want to take. This is Skimbo's first offensive play in his round of 32 game against K-Mike. With the bunch to the wide side of the field, he dials up the right side flood by max protecting, fading his outside bunch receiver, and dragging the solo receiver. K-Mike rolls into what looks to be a 3 deep cloud coverage, but he has already lost on the play. With the fade running the defense deep and K-Mike usering the right side linebacker, he's really in a no-win situation. Both the deep corner and drag will be open, and he can only pick one to guard. He opts for what is probably the right decision and takes away the easy throw, forcing Mahomes to make a deep throw across the field on the sideline along with making Conley come back to the ball and make a tough catch. In this case, Skimbo executes perfectly and ends up making the 21 yard reception. Now on the defensive side of the ball, there was also a clear theme in formation selection. In terms of the top 8 competitors, each one of them favored a defense out of the nickel normal formation. Going a step further, of the three games between the semifinals and finals, 139 of the 165 plays saw a defense being run from the nickel normal formation. 
This is in large part because of the ease in which you can bring pressure off the edge out of this formation and the flexibility in being able to bring safeties down into the box as sub linebackers. In particular, Nickel Blitz 2 was a large part of many of the defenses we saw over the weekend. Let's take a look at why it was so popular. This example comes from Lil Man and Blocky's semifinal matchup. In this case, Lil Man decides to bring the house and send six players at the quarterback. Blocky is actually running an offensive setup that involves blocking seven players, so he should have solid pass protection. Post snap, we see Lil Man dials up the double corner blitz off the bunch side by sending both the outside and nickel corners, delegating the entire right side of the field to his user defender. Blocky ends up picking up the pressure with his max protection, but there is still another layer to the madness on defense. With Lil Man sending pressure off the right edge in conjunction with his user bluffing the right side blitz, Justin Houston is left backside one on one with the left tackle. This is a case of understanding your scheme and personnel, knowing that even if your blitz gets picked up, you will have a chance to take advantage of some one on one opportunities. Also, if you noticed, Blocky went to the aforementioned Pat's sail play. This was one of the best ways to counter it by pressuring the offense before their routes could develop. With the meta largely centered around Nickel Normal and Gun Bunch at the Classic, it will be interesting to see how it evolves going forward in other game modes aside from regs. Be sure to tune in for the second major tournament with the Club Championship Live Finals taking place on January 30th.